Hey guys, it's Anya and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a controversial opinions video and I'm really excited about this. It's gonna have some like lighthearted stuff and then some actually controversial opinions. So let's get right into it. All right, so I have my list here. So if I'm looking down a lot, that's what's happening. Hawaiian pizza is good. Um, I agree, Hawaiian pizza is amazing. Pineapple does belong on pizza. The cereal goes in first, like before milk. Um, I honestly, I like cereal without milk, but when I eat cereal with milk, I would say I put my cereal in first. Music today is superior. Um, I very heavily do not agree with this opinion. I think that music today is honestly really bad. In general, there are definitely like some people that I enjoy, but it's very few. If I think of music that's been made in the past five years versus music that's been made in like the past 40 years, I appreciate the one from like 40, 50 years ago way more. This is more like my own statement. Um, Harry Potter and Star Wars are both amazing in different ways and cannot be compared. I think very strongly about this. I love both of them very much. They've both been a part of my childhood. Love them both still. I've been re-watching all the Star Wars movies for like the second time this year and I'm rereading the Harry Potter books. So I don't think you need to choose. Same with Star Trek and Star Wars. I think that they're both great. They're both very different things. One is like more realistic and it's like exploration, whereas the other one's more drama and fighting in space. So they're different things. So you can't really compare them to each other. They're all amazing. I don't like chocolate. Okay. Okay, here's the thing with that. I, what is wrong? <coughs> what is up with my voice today? I'm sorry if my voice sounds really weird, but I don't know what's wrong with it. Here's the thing. I love like just straight up like a bar of chocolate. Like if you just give me straight up like dark chocolate, I will love it. Or if you give me chocolate pudding, but if you give me like chocolate milk, white chocolate, a little lint thing that's like chocolate with like the fudge inside, chocolate ice cream, chocolate cake, I'm not gonna like it. It's disgusting. I, it's absolutely horrible. Big time rush is better than One Direction. Um, no. Okay, so I'm like, I I love me some of my boy bands. Like, I am an oldies gal for music. But when it comes to like One Direction, I I go at it. All lives matter. No. No, turn turn that turn that around. Turn that around right now. Like, leave. Stop. All lives are gonna matter once black lives do matter. All lives do not matter. We're not, we're not doing that here. We're not, that is not happening. Make America great again. No, America's not great, but the clown who's saying make America great again is the one that's ruining America even more. So no, I, I like America more the way it is than if you try to make it great. So let's just, let's leave it as is. Settle for Biden. Um, yes, absolutely. I think that if, uh, this is just like the 2016 election. I don't like Hillary, I don't like Biden. But if I have to choose between Trump and Hillary or Trump and Biden, I'm gonna choose Hillary or Biden. It doesn't matter that I don't like them. It's the fact that they're better. I saw this thing on Instagram today. And it's like a C plus is better than an F. Okay, so maybe, maybe you don't have an A. Maybe you don't have Bernie. But isn't it better to have a C plus than to fail? Like a C plus is still a passing grade. It's not a great grade. You might be a little upset about it. But would you be more upset about a C plus or an F? Because an F is a Trump. A C plus is a Biden, and A is a Bernie, but we're simply not getting that. So I'm gonna settle for a C plus. I mean, I can't vote, but when I can, if if stuff like this happens again, which it definitely will, I will be settling if it is better than failing. Online school is so difficult. We should just go back to real life school. 
So if you haven't seen my Corona video, this is this is the time to click it. It's linked somewhere up here. So yes, online school is a struggle. It's very annoying. It's honestly hard at times. It's hard to find motivation. But do you want to die? Because if you do, go ahead, move to Florida and like do real school. I I don't I don't want to die. So even if it's a little bit harder, I'm gonna struggle in online school rather than go to in-person school. No, I don't. I I rather not get COVID. Like I, I I I like my life without a virus. It's nice. You're not gonna get to go to in-person school and be completely normal, completely safe just like you were a year ago today. Watch my video, watch my, like I, I know you're, I know you're thinking about it. I, I know that you're still in this video, like leave this video, go watch that video. Then come back when you're ready to get some sense smack back into you again. The news and social media actually teach you more than school. I agree with this in a way. So language arts, are music you don't you don't learn that from social media no you, you should you should still go to school but when it comes to like like politics current events world history i think that social media and the news are a great way to stay in touch and like be educated because honestly like if i wasn't on social media i probably wouldn't have like half the knowledge that i currently do about things going on in the world. And I'm glad that I have the knowledge of these things. I still don't know everything, obviously, but I I know more. Social media, I don't wanna get into the whole like, social media is good for you, social media is bad for you thing, but it can be educational. Water is overrated. The people that like, okay, like my brother, I've legitimately never seen him like drink a cup of water unless we're on a hike. I understand not everybody drinks as much water as me. Some people don't even drink like a cup of water a day. I'm like, how? Water is amazing and also you need it to live. I just, I don't understand how people don't drink water. Cancel culture is toxic. Yes, it's, it is definitely toxic, but I would say if we're talking about like Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, they can be canceled. I don't think that they should have the platform that they do have, but like overall cancel culture is is quite toxic. Feelers are ugly. <laughs> Yo, okay. So at my old school, I was like one of the only three people that I knew that wore Fila's. Every, everybody like hated Fila's there. I personally think they're great shoes. I like them more than an Air Force One. I feel like Air Force Ones, look weird on me and look weird on most people sorry to break it to you it's, it's not a look zendaya is overrated have you seen her is there is there a person more perfect in this world than zendaya like no there's there's nobody in this world that is more perfect than zendaya zendaya cannot be overrated she's amazing louis tomlinson from one direction is ugly no, no, he's not. I feel like so many people hate on him and are like, One Direction would be so much better th without him. Absolutely not. His vocals are so good. And he's cute. Like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put like a few pictures here. He's adorable. Harry Styles is ugly. No. <laughs> I must admit that like Harry Styles with long hair might be an acquired taste, but Harry Styles is a fine specimen. School has failed us. I don't necessarily know if that's true. I think I've learned a lot of stuff. I think it's good, but could they be doing more teaching us how to do taxes teaching us how to write checks or helping us like do budget stuff teaching us about mortgage and stuff like that definitely like they should definitely do more in that way but i don't necessarily think that they've failed us 
Noah Centineo is not cute. I 100% agree. I don't want to like be like, he's ugly. I don't want to be like rude or anything. The Lopez brothers are nasty. So I'm not really on TikTok, um, but when I am, I'm on the One Direction side of TikTok. But what I know from TikTok is the news or like Snapchat stories or whatever of like the Lopez brothers. They scare me. Like I know what a second ago I was like, I don't want to be rude or anything, but like I will make an exception for that and Voldemort. I don't like any of the presidential candidates, but I'm still voting. If I could vote, yes, I would still be voting, even though I don't like any of the presidential candidates. Like I said before, I'm not just gonna write in Bernie because that's not gonna get any work. If you wanna hear me um, do some more ranting, you can watch my Corona video. And also comment down below if you want more videos like this where I like actually talk about my opinions because I personally, like when I put out my Corona video, I was like proud of it and it was my favorite video. But I don't know if that many people liked it because it wasn't really like doing the best. But comment down below if you want more videos like that and if there's any like specific ones that you want. And I hope that you like this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below what your opinions on this stuff are. Um, but like don't come at me with hate. Like I'm not, no, you're, no, that's not happening. Subscribe to see more videos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.